Good day, class! After discussing the topic hierarchical taxonomic system of classification, we know that it has eight levels the domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Now, let's talk about one of the levels of hierarchical taxonomic system the kingdom. Basically, we have five kingdoms the kingdom Animalia, kingdom Plantae, kingdom Fungi. Kingdom Protista, and Kingdom Monera. To be able to classify which kingdom the organisms are, we should know whether the organisms are eukaryotic or prokaryotic and how they get their nutrition and how they reproduce. First, let me show you what is in the Kingdom Animalia. In Kingdom Animalia, we will see species like animals, for example, a monkey. They are eukaryotic, multicellular, and have no cell wall. The reproduction will go through the process of blastocyst, a part of embryo development. In most of how they get nutrition, they are heterotrophic. It means they eating other organisms, for example, other animals or plants. And they are also motile, which means they can move. There are 35 phyla in Kingdom Animalia, divided into two divisions, the invertebrates without backbone and vertebrates with backbone. For example, an earthworm for invertebrates and a monkey for vertebrates. So remember that we have 35 phyla in Kingdom Animalia. But let me just discuss to you the five main phyla, which are the arthropods, annelids, mollusks, nematoda, and chordata. The question is, which of these phylum are with backbone and without backbone? These four are known as vertebrates as they don't have backbone, while the phylum chordata is the only one with backbone. But note that there are subphylum under these five main phyla. Now, we will get to know what phylum do animal belongs by knowing their basic body plan. The first phylum, the arthropods, all have hard exoskeleton made up of cheating, have jointed legs, and segmented body with three distinct segments, the head, thorax, and abdomen. Examples of arthropods are crabs or centipedes. Next, the annelids. They have ring-like body parts with segmented body. The front end is the mouth and the other end is the anus. Also, annelids can thrive or live both on land and in water. Examples of these are earthworms and leeches. The third phylum is mollusk. Mollusks have soft bodies protected by hard protective shells, but there are few, like squid, who have soft shells inside their body, and octopuses have no shells. Most of the mollusks are aquatic. Next is Phylum nematoda. They have round bodies covered with cuticle, and they move by contracting the muscles of each inside of the bodies alternately. Examples of this phylum are Ascaracis and roundworms. The last phylum, the Chordata. Species in Chordata have notochord, skull, and backbone or vertebral column, the reason why it falls under vertebrates. There are seven known classes under Chordata the class Agnata, Chondrichthys, Astyectis, Amphibian, Reptalia, Abs, and Mammalia. The class Agnata, Chondrichthys, and Astyectes are fishes. Agnata, the jawless fishes, Chondrichthys are the fishes with skeleton made up of cartilages or soft and flexible tissues instead of bones. And Astyectes are the bony fishes. Example of these are the dwarf sawtail cut shark. The fourth class is the amphibian the species that live both in water and on land, and the early stages of their life cycle is spent on water. Example of amphibian is a zone fanged frog. Next is the class Reptalia. Class Reptalia have hard body coverings like scales or place of turtles, with sharp claws for climbing and tearing prey. Example species under class Reptalia are Philippine crocodile and hawksbill turtle. The sixth class under phylum Chordata is the class Aves or birds. Aves or birds have feathered covered bodies, 
they have beak or bill to get their food. They have wings to make them fly. However, there are some birds that are so big that they cannot fly which are called the flightless birds. Also, the species under this class lay eggs. Examples of class, aves or birds species are Negros Bleeding Heart, Philippine Eagle, Red Vented Cockatoo, and Philippine Hawk Eagle. Lastly, the class Mammalia. Class Mammalia are air breathing animals have hair or fur, whose females are possessed as mammary glands, and both have three middle ear bones used for hearing and near cortex region. Example species under class Mammalia are Philippine long tailed macacao, tamarau, Visayan spotted deer, and Visayan whitey pig. Next is the Kingdom Plantae. Plants are classified in this kingdom, and there are 500,000 known plant species in the world. Kingdom Plantae is eukaryotic and multicellular, same with the animal, but with cell wall and gain nutrition by photoautotrophic or getting food from the sunlight. Now, let me tell you a brief story of evolution of plants. So there are four major periods of plants. The first period is the Silurian period. It is the start of all plants. It is when vascular plants and non-vascular plants form from green algae. It was happened 444 to 416 million years ago. The second period is a Devonian period. Vascular plants are able to adapt on lands and the first form of forest on earth starts in this period. Happened 416 to 315 million years ago. The third period happened 200 million years ago, where vascular plants are now have seeds, the birth of gymnosperm, a non-flowering plant. And lastly, the fourth period is the early Cretaceous period, where plants again evolve and bloom a flower which is called the angiosperm, a flowering plant. Now, we already know the evolution of plants. Let's proceed on the two phyla or divisions of Kingdom Plantae. Kingdom Plantae have two divisions, which are the division Bryophyta and division Tracheophyta. To easily understand the both divisions, let's compare them. Bryophyta is a non-vascular plant, which means it has no stems or roots, while Tracheophyta is the vascular plant, which means it has stems and roots. Along with that, Tracheophyta has seeds, while Bryophyta doesn't. And because bryophyta does not have stem or roots, it directly absorbs the water from the soil or base and grows, while tracheophyta absorbs water from the roots. An example of bryophyta is a moss, or what we know here in the Philippines in Tagalog is lumot. So moss is a water-absorbing mats and reproduced by spores or growing new plants by cloning. Because tracheophyta have lots of species under it, this vascular plant is divided into two, the gymnosperms born in the third period in evolution and the angiosperms born in the fourth period. Gymnosperm is what we know a non-flowering plant. Its seeds is exposed to the environment or the seed is not inside the ovary of the plant. That's why it is called a naked seed. And the angiosperm is a flowering plant and known as a most diverse plant. We will fall down to its two classes, the monocotyledon and dicotyledon. Monocotyledon embryos containing only one cotyledon, a first single leaf or one of the first pair of leaves, and dicotyledon embryos containing with two cotyledon. Example of monocotyledon is a corn, the mice vulgaris gahilang. And here are example of dicotyledon, a carabao mango, and flowers like four o'clock, Sampagita and Santan. This is a diagram of Kingdom Plantae for you to see the divisions and classes fall under it. Now is the third kingdom, the Fungi Kingdom. Fungi was first placed under the Kingdom Plantae because it is eukaryotic and multicellular. Example of fungi that multicellular is a mushroom, but there are fungi that are unicellular like yeast. Also, they are heterotrophic or they eat other organisms, and many fungi are decomposers, 
which can be seen in fruits and vegetables to feed themselves and grow. Fungi is classified into four divisions based on sexual reproduction and lichens. Lichens is a symbiotic partnership between fungi and algae and known as the pioneer organisms in ecological success. The first division is division zygomycota, a terrestrial fungi that produce asexual spores, sporangia, at the tips of areal hypae that invade breads and other food products. The second division is division ascomycota. The ascomycota or sac fungi ranging from the unicellular fungi where true yeast is classified. Ascomycota is the formation of an ascus or a sac-like structure that contains haploid ascopores that produce bisexual reproduction. This division play a beneficial role in baking, brewing, and wine fermentation. Division Basidiomycota includes mushrooms, shelf fungi, and puffballs. Basidiomycota produce a club shape or basidum, which represent a short type of stage in the life cycle. Basidiomycota reproduction meiosis occurs in cells at the tip of the hypae, extends under the ground from the reproductive structure, may be produced at the parameter underground mycelium or the head of the hypae. Examples in this division are Lepiocristata, Nidula, Tramets hirsute, and Ganoderma lucidum. The last division, Deuteromycota, the large division of fungi that seem to reproduce asexually or lump and call them perfect fungi, as it do not possesses sexual structures like other fungi. Example of Deuteromycota is Chlorotia. Now, the fourth kingdom, the Protista. They are eukaryotic, unicellular, and few are multicellular. Protista can be found in fresh water, marine, and moist terrestrial habitat or live symbiotically with their host bodies, which means Protista can gain nutrition by photoautotrophic or heterotrophic. In mode of reproduction, all protists can produce asexually, but there are some also have sexual reproduction. Protista is classified into three phylum, protozoa, the animal-like, algae protist, plant-like, and protist resembling fungi. Protozoa or protozoans are a group of protists that ingest food. Example of species under protozoa are Entymolba histolytica, Regularians, Trypanosoma gambiens, and Leishmania donovani. Algae phyla are mainly photosynthetic. Example of these is Volvox aerus. And protist resembling fungi is looking like a fungi, also decaying organic matter, but has a difference in cellular organization, reproduction, and life cycle. And its example is a slime molds. The last kingdom is Kingdom Monera, or prokaryotes, which means they are prokaryotic. Unlike other organisms, they exist as single celled. But there are few species in Kingdom Monera that may form aggregates of cells that stick together after dividing and make a simple multicellular form. They produce asexually by binary fission and grows 1 to 10 micrometer in diameter, one tenth size of a eukaryotic cell. There are four ways how Kingdom Monera gain nutrition. The photoautotrophs gain energy from light. Photoheterotrophs energy from light and gain carbon organic nutrients. Chemoautotrophs obtain energy by oxidizing inorganic substances and chemoheterotrophs use organic nutrients as both energy and carbon source. Monera or prokaryotes have four most common shapes. Caxi, the spherical, Bacilli, the rod shape, Spirochi, the spiral shape, and Vibrio, the comma shape. Example of species under Kingdom Monera are Alpha Proteobacteria, Beta Proteobacteria, Cyanophora Paradoxa, and Cylindrospermopsis Rasiborski. That's all for today. Thank you.